Hey, good morning, guys. Okay, so last night I was on um, my YouTube and I'm watching Whoopi Goldberg talk about how God has given us a choice. God has given us a choice, basically. She's saying to have a mind of our own that abortion is okay. Basically, she tried to use God to say, like, <clears throat> you know, God is okay with abortion, that he has given us a mind, he has given us a choice to know that if, you know, if if it's not going to work out for us having a baby, we have a choice to kill our babies. So she's gotten a lot of um, <clears throat> backlash already for this comment, and I believe she is absolutely wrong. Um, God does give us a free will, he gives us a choice every single day. We have thousands of choices every single day what we're going to do. Um, to say that, like, um, you know, God is giving us a choice to kill and he's okay with it is absolute, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, where does this thinking come from? Is there no right and wrong? Is there no, is, is it wrong to kill? Of course it is. So she is justifying killing babies with um, this philosophy that doesn't quite align with the, the thinking on this, you know, with sin, with what's right and wrong. So, um, so anyways, this is something that's happening in the abortion movement. Also, um, let me see. Kansas has um, chosen to uphold abortion rights and women are celebrating this, which is absolutely disgusting. I mean, why are you celebrating the killing of babies? It makes no sense. But on the other hand, is can I understand it? Yeah, I can understand it. I can understand how they feel that they have a right to do whatever they want with their body. You know, there's a million reasons why people choose abortion. There's a million lies out there. Um, <clears throat> we want to be careful not to judge women too harshly. Um, you know, there's, there's a balance. There is definitely standing up for things and saying this is absolutely wrong and disgusting. But there's also a balance with knowing that, you know, sin before God is all the same. Uh, no matter what you do, it's all the same before his eyes. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to some woman last night about this. And I think um, sometimes we fall on the side of truth without love. We really do. We need to understand that there are a lot of women coming to a place of regretting their abortions. They were lied to. They were told that, you know, this doesn't hurt the baby. They're not really a baby. They're a fetus. They, they you know, it's not going to cause any pain. Um, there's a million reasons. You know, maybe a father has said, if you ever get pregnant, you are getting kicked out of the home. So fear is a big motivator. Um, to try to abort. Um, maybe there's abandonment. You know, there is a huge difference. I went to a baby shower last night and it was beautiful. Um, motherhood is the most important role for, for a woman, um, for a mother. Um, a dad can't do it. He can't. He's not made for that role when the baby is little. The baby is already used to the mother's rhythm of her heart. The baby already knows the moods of the mother, whether she's happy, whether she's sad. And then as soon as that baby is born, that baby nurses right off the mother's breast. So although we have all this transgender stuff and um, going on, that baby is made to be nurtured by the mother. Only the mother can do what that mother is designed to do to nurture and care for that baby. Um, Later on, dad definitely has a bonding and input role, but at the beginning, it's the baby and the mother. So it really is an important role for 
um, a mother. No one else in the world can do this like a mother can. Um, so with that in mind, when you have this type of thinking or training that you have had makes a huge difference um, compared to a woman who has had a broken family and she doesn't really have community. Um, a woman who doesn't have community who is on her own isn't going to have the same benefits as a woman who does have community. So I would say the biggest obstacle probably to the abortions um, to life is not having community. It's really going to take a community to raise children um, because we do need to do more. It's not just here's some diapers and here's, um, you know, some free gifts. Baby showers are great. They are a huge support. This woman had tons of stuff given to her and that's great. You know, tons of clothes. You can't have enough onesies. Um, but at the same time, that is very small compared to all the needs that a new mother has. And she doesn't even know the beginning of it yet. Um, you know, when you, um, go into labor and delivery, that's something that a woman has to really work at doing. Um, and that takes a lot of work to to do that and then even the harder work later on you're training those children you're training them you are caring for them you are correcting them and their soul is truly being influenced for good or evil and eternity is at stake is what is going on this is part of a mother's role is hopefully that they come to know christ um so it's a very important role for a mother um Community is very important. So if you have an unplanned pregnancy, the best thing you want to do is jump into community. And I would say that you're going to find the most positive community in a church setting if you don't have family. If you have family and they're a very strong family, you are going to have um, a great start. Um, this girl had, I think, five sisters and her mother had like seven kids. So they're pretty strong. Um, she's not going to have any issues, you know, with understanding where babies come from and her role because she has such an amazing amount of support and accountability in her life. Um, I'm sure if she thought, ever thought that she would abort, her sisters would be right there saying, you know, this is not okay. She would have that accountability. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing seeing a pregnant woman. Pregnant women to me are the most beautiful women on this planet. To see them glow and just, um, this girl just looked absolutely beautiful last night. Very feminine, um, very soft. Um, it reminded me of when I was pregnant and, um, it was one of the best times in my life. So, um, you know, you need that support. And I've had comments um, on my YouTube channel like, oh yeah, baby shower is great, but you know, babies need more than that. And they do, and that's why we have so, so many resources out there. And I've seen women at pregnancy centers even being willing to bring the kids to school, to say, hey, I'll help you bring the kids to school. Um, we really need to be a family to women who have nobody. They need constant encouragement. And something I did as I was raising my kids is I constantly encouraged myself, constantly reading books, constantly uh, learning, how do I mother? How do I do this? How do I, you know, how do I know what to do here and what to do here? And you want that um, long haul approach. You wanna know all the way up from the teen years um, that to adulthood, you have support and if you can't find it, then you need to go somewhere and you need to put yourself in a place where you're going to get it because you need it. You need it. There's so many trials in life. Um, and then when your kids go through hard times, you need that support again. You need to know there are people around you who are going to um, support you and support your kids. And when they fall, they need to get back up 
and don't and don't feel like you know you're setting too high of a standard for your kids because um, when they fall, somebody did say this, and I, I agree with this, if the standard is set very high, when they fall, they're only going to fall this much rather than falling way down. So set those standards high um, and make sure you have as much help as possible. Keep going to people. I mean, I went to teen classes um, for my kids. I did everything possible in my own strength to make sure um, I was on the right track with my kids. So, um, community is huge. Get all the help you can, even if it's books, even if it's just strangers coming up to you in the grocery store and saying, you know, oh, your kids are so cute. They're so well behaved. Doctor's office, uh, your kids are great. Take as much support as you can get. And that is how you do it.